All right, y'all. So I haven't done a video in fr freaking ever, and I'm actually getting ready to go to work. I'm heading in late because we are doing adventures through the museum at Frontier Culture. So I'm going to be in the schoolhouse tonight. So I'm kind of going all out just a little bit because I'm not working in the field or in the barn today. And I realized about halfway through getting my hair up that this would probably be a good opportunity to show another variation of mid 19th century hairstyle. So first and foremost, I have a bun at the back of my head. It is mainly just the lower half, like the back half of my hair that I've put up into a bun. And then this front half, as you can kind of see, I'm doing the twist and then braid. So in another video that I did ages ago at this point, I did the entire thing of this whole half was twisted down to like right behind my ear and then braided from there. And then same with the other side. You can do the same thing with half of your hair. It also just kind of looks nice if you're doing a half up, half down hairstyle as well for like modern times. So yeah, let me show you how to do this half real quick and twist it all up together and then I will be ready to go today. So. Well, aside from, like, I think earrings and a belt. Need a belt today. <laughs> so, let me put the phone down and we will get going. Alright, so, really, I had already brushed it all out. Like I said, there's a bun at the back. It's relatively small, but it's something to wrap the braids around here in a minute. But you legitimately just twist it back. Whoop. Behave, please. He behaved on the other half. I don't know why I'm expecting this half to behave too. Until there's just that little bit. Split it into three. And start braiding. Though I have been pulling just a little bit at the front to floof it just that little bit. I can go back and fix the bubble later. Now one thing about the hairstyles that I do here, they're not absolutely correct because usually, oh, what has happened? You would have your ears covered, but I cannot stand my ears being covered. I feel like I can't hear anything. So, uh oh, where did all of my little ones go? Hang on. Actually, having the tiny hair bows that I need for this would be helpful. But usually your ears are covered for these time periods as well. I can't do it. So technically mine's a little bit later, but it's still roughly the right time frame. Because uh, really you could stop the twist like here and then drop lower. I just choose not to. So... Twisting it up and around, pin it down. I have to use so many pins just to hold it there. That's not staying. Shoot. Coopitate. Coopitate, coopitate. And then you kind of floof the front to the desired height. I like having a good amount of floof because it kind of rounds out my face a little bit more. But not everybody wants that necessarily. So twisting up the other half, pin it down, 
that upper part you can cover with flowers or a hairnet, which is what I'm going to be doing. I'll find my nicer hair piece and cover all of the shorter pieces up. I'm probably going to hairspray the crap out of it just because flyaways are not Fly, flyaways have been prevalent as of late quick floofage and yeah that's basically it so turn this up my apologies, I shouldn't have turned that. So just a simple bun with the wrap around. It kind of decorates itself just a little bit. So yeah, there is our hairstyle of the day. It's been a while since I've done that. <laughs> all right, and all right, and for one quick final spin, I've got my earrings in. Thank the Lord, they actually cooperated. I need to find my brooch. I don't know where it's gone. I have my belt on. I have my jacket, but. Here we go! <laughs>